the time, Shay. Um, we will start in the room. I will go ahead and start with questions right here. When Skyler can play like that, especially coming off of a Western Conference player of the week, not, but almost I think two rebounds shy of Bryce. Is that what it was? One two rebounds. Rebound. So two rebounds shy of a triple double. Just that's, that's, that's tough. level type stuff, isn't it? It's, it's tough. Like Skyler is just on a different level right now. She's extremely focused. She's locked in. Um, obviously, she was happy to get the award, but she didn't, she didn't get too high. Just stay where she was at. And she has her foot on the gas pedal, and it's, it's, it's scary hours right now. Like, she's on a uh, a different wave. Let's just leave that there. And especially when players can do that, does it maybe kind of take a little bit of pressure off of everybody else and maybe let everybody else just kind of hoop without putting too much on yourself? You know, he has a big night, you have a nice yeah. night. A lot of players can kind of step up knowing, hey, this person's going great. I just need to do a little bit. Absolutely. Like, whenever – any of our players have a good night and like the defense is focused on them. So that frees up for everybody else to get easy shots. Um, it's easy for them to come off, find an open man. You know, we're all able to get some touches and get the ball moving. But when somebody's hot like that, you just got to keep feeding to them. And defense has to adjust. I think right now she's making every team have to change their defensive game plan. And that's what you want. And to do that when you, know, you don't have BG last game, but even as you're working BG back, you know, you can always go to her. But to have a night where you don't feel like you need to go to BG, is a luxury for you guys. I'm oh, sure, yeah, right? it's definitely a bonus. I think BG's presence alone on the court just helps us in general. Like, she's a big body. Um, she's going to get her rebounds. Um, I don't think there's anybody in the league that can stop her one-on-one. -on -one. So double team's going to help, which opens up for everybody else, Breezy with the cut or three-point shooter. So just having her out there, you know, just trying to help us out and push through what she can means a lot. You guys were over 50% from three. Uh, first time this season, you had a big role in that, too. What kind of factors – in terms of how the offense was flowing, gave you guys those open shots that you could step into? Um, I think, you know, percentage-wise on paper, we might look awful, but we're a good three-point shooting team, you know, and then finally tonight, we was able to hit one, and then the next one, it's kind of just trickled down to everybody. So when you had that type of night, when, like, just seemed like everybody has the green light, the ball's going in almost every time you feel like when you shoot it, um, it just gets everybody confidence just to take the shots, whether you miss the last one or – you know, whatever happens, just hit the next one and be confident in it, and it's probably going to go in. Or you have to because the shot. Oh, you have to, right. You airball it, the next one is going to go in. But that last one you took, obviously, the game's pretty secure at that point. But mm -hmm. when it goes in, you look back at the bench, and it's just kind of. It's game. just like one of them nights. Like, you know, you just, you got to laugh. Like, it's just a shot that just. But, but in all seriousness, you don't get many of those nights in this league. You guys have been playing close games all year long. And a few of these have finally started to not be as close, but. How much do you need to enjoy it when these type of games happen? Because, you know, the next one might be just as tight as they usually are. Yeah, I mean, every game, you never know what's going to happen. So when you're able to come out, play well from almost start to finish, um, you, you enjoy the last couple of minutes, you know, not trying to showboat or anything, but it feels good to have like a comfortable win over Chicago. I think they're coming off a, a winning streak themselves as well. So we feel good and um, just having fun out there. And you got to give Sandy the bragging rights over her husband, right? Uh, of course, of course. <laughs> Speaking of which, when it comes to the last two games against Chicago, the both of those games were very close, obviously. Uh, Kia had the game winner the first time around, and the second game went to overtime. What was the difference to think tonight that helped the team be able to create such a comfortable win? Um, I think we had a great defensive uh, game plan. Um, we was locked into the scout from shoot around, even on the bench, even at halftime, and we was communicating well. Like I know sometimes we have a problem like just talking on, you know, switches and stuff, but today I think everybody was locked in. Um, we was well prepared for the plays and just made sure we knew the shooters was at, you know, stop the rollers and just box out. We try to get them off the ball as much as we can and limit their fast breaks. How helpful was it to have this four day spread where you come home, able to unwind, able to relax, especially after such a long, grueling a road trip where very successful, but still very strenuous. Um, it feels good. You know, obviously it's always good to come home and, and stay in your bed um, and just relax. And, you know, like I said last time, it's always different when you come home, you know, you're playing well, the, the fans are cheering, opposed to when you're on the road doing well and they're booing you. So just to come out here and just, just hear the fans, everybody's engaged. Um, it felt good. I want to go over to Zoom, Olivia. Okay, we'll go to Michelle Smith and then Danny Thompson. Hey, Shay, this extra gear that you guys have found there, in the Olivia. last... And those extra, that extra gear you guys have found in the last couple of weeks, is that a mental gear or a physical gear at this point? One second, Michelle, sorry. You got it. Thumbs up if you can hear me. We can hear you. Got you. Oh, oh there you go. All good? Yes. 
Okay. Shay, the gear that you guys have found in the last couple of weeks, is that a mental gear, a switch, or is it purely physical and what's happening on the floor? Um, I would say probably more mental. Um, we're learning, we're learning one another, you know, what buttons to push to get somebody going. Um, certain ways to just find play is a good open shot and just and just stay in the game, like you know, try to limit our arguing with the refs, um, limited pout in or getting discouraged when we miss a shot or turn the ball over and just kind of think like next play, next play, next play. I think that mentality is really what's contributing to our, our win streak. Thank you. We'll go to Danny Thompson. Oh. Shay, Danny Thompson with a three-point conversion. Great game tonight, great victory. Can you hear me? Yes, thank you. Perfect. Uh, so the, it seemed like this team has had a you mentioned a, 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 a level change in the second half. Tonight, it was a plus 17 in the second half in the score differential, but it's been like a, an ongoing occurrence in the last few games. What is the coaching staff telling you at halftime, telling the team at halftime, that just somehow gets this team to jet start in the second half, like like tonight, for example? Um, they just kind of reiterate the, the game plan. You know, don't let us get too high or too low. Um, obviously, they point out certain things we need to – cut back on and, you know, limit our turnovers and, and rebounding. But I think for us, it's just staying locked in. Um, I think when we turn it up defensively, like we have been these last couple of games, it uh, helps with our offense. So I think our main focus has just been locking on defense. Like we know we can score the ball, but we have to be able to, to defend it on the other end as well. And the team has seemed to be up and down at home this season because on the road, you guys are I think nine and three on the road now. How important is it as we get closer to the playoffs to have a win like this at home to potentially jet start a home winning streak the same way y'all ladies have been winning on the road? Um, it's extremely important. Obviously, when um, we get to the playoffs, you're going to need to win at home in order, you know, to potentially advance. So I think um, these last few home wins have really helped with our confidence and, you know, feeling good coming home and just and just putting on a show for the fans and just wanted to translate for the regular season and on to the playoffs. Okay, thanks for the time, Shay. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.